I am running for mayor of Ottawa, Ontario. For those of you that don't know, Ottawa is the capital of Canada. I am running because I've lived here my whole life, and I, I, I think that I think some things could be done better. Um, we could improve in some areas, specifically the area around Ottawa. I want to build a big wall. I'm going to call it the Ottawa Wall, and it is going to be for the purpose of an Ottawa exit. Why separate Ottawa from the rest of Canada? Well. I believe that the political situation in Canada can be best described as a line, a line of longitude. In the far east, we have Quebec. In the far west, we have British Columbia. There are also some other places further east, but I'm not exactly sure what those are. Anyway, the point is, we have easts, we have the wests, and then, you know, for example, Manitoba, we could call center east, Alberta hard west. It's that kind of thing, right? And the more east you are, the more you hate the west, and the more west you are, the more we hate the east. Now, as you know, I'm an anti-centrist. I believe that the extremes should team up with each other and destroy the middle. But right now, of course, the east hates the west, west hates the east. They're spending all their time complaining about each other. In between, there's Ottawa. They complain about Ottawa as well. And complain, complain, complain. I mean, they complain so much that we had a bunch of trucks. Remember that? We had trucks. Yeah. So here's what I'm saying, all right? Uh, this is a mess. This is this is a big mess. Um, you, you guys can govern yourselves. All right, everyone's happy. The East is happy. The West is happy. Everyone's happy. But most of all, Ottawans are happy. Why? Because we got a big wall. Yeah, we got a big wall. We got a big wall all around our perimeter. And this sounds like a joke, but I, it's not. It's not a joke. I am on the. I'm on the website. I am on the website of official mayoral candidates, and I've already been invited to some debates, so it's not a joke. And even if it was, I would be dead serious. Like I'm not. I'm not kidding here. Like if I, when I win, I will build. A, I will spend all of the city's budget on a big wall. Now, I should probably back up a few steps. It's not really going to take a lot of money to build this wall. I mean, it's going to take money, but. We are pulling out of the global economy. We are pulling out of the global economy because it's not beneficial for us to engage in the global economy. We can, after we nationalize, print our own money. When we print our own money, we can just control how much money we have. Um, and the point of printing our own money is also so that we can double down on a kind of national identity. To double down on a national identity, we are going to need... Um, well, some sort of identity to double down on. And in the case of Ottawa, that is what? Government jobs. Ottawa is famous for its world-class government jobs, where you work one hour a day but get paid for eight. Everyone in Ottawa, after I'm elected, will get a government job. Now, each government job will only be a part of a larger branch, right, that only has meaning in relation to other large branches. We're going to invent all kinds of different branches with all kinds of different acronyms. The, the BBZU, the THRT, the MOMM, -M. you know, we'll figure out what these acronyms mean after we make them. But the point is everyone will get a job in one of these branches. And it's sort of like a UBI, right? It's like a UBI because you get money for just shuffling papers around. You have to show up, you have to clock in, you have to, sh you have to shuffle the papers around. Maybe you even have to go to a company meeting, but it's, it's kind of like a UBI, right? So everyone gets free money in, in a way. In another way, everyone has to work a government job, but that's <laughs> neither here nor there. Again, uh, sounds ironic, is actually post-ironic. I will do it. I'm, I'm not playing around here. And we can annex any neighboring municipalities that are, that are willing. Uh, we call it an auto annex. We simply look at a neighboring municipality and let's say Gadno uh, wants to join. So be it. We just add Gadno to Ottawa. The end goal, of course, is to keep annexing places until all of Canada is annexed under Ottawa with Ottawa as its new capital. The official language of new Ottawa is going to be Fringlish. What Fringlish is, is essentially tu paparl comme ça. Uh, which is you can speak French with a very English accent, uh, or you can uh, speak um, like this, which is to say you can just speak English, but it is like you are a Quebecois person um, using an extended English metaphor. Now, what you're hearing now is just kind of the broad 
outline of the campaign, there's obviously a lot more to it. And as the campaign progresses, you will learn more and more about my visions for Ottawa. And you will also learn in the debates uh, about, you know, more of the specifics of how I plan to get We are going done. to need some, some art for uh, posters to put around town and spread the message. If you are willing to volunteer your uh, talents for drawing stuff, that would be great. Or if you're willing to just, uh, if any of the ideas that I've mentioned so far are appealing to you, uh, please send them over to the email address right here. If you happen to be an Ottawa resident, then I need your 